Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2023, on this May 17th Wednesday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for this wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last morning, our Lord, for protecting us, let us lift a hand and thank Him. Father, thank You. Thank You, Jesus. Thank You, Lord. Thank You for the good sleep You gave us last night. Let us lift a hand and thank Him. Father, thank You. Thank You, Jesus. With good health and happiness, the Lord who woke us up for the faithfulness of our beloved Daddy, let us thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank You. Thank You, Jesus. This morning, in Christ Jesus, for victoriously leading us, let us together tell Him thank You. Father, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you. Father, we tell you thank you. Remembering your faithfulness, we tell you thank you. Remembering your grace, thank you. For your glory, thank you. The psalmist is saying in Psalms 33, Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise from the upright is a beautiful Praise the Lord with the harp. Make melody to Him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to Him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. Let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, for this wonderful morning, thank you. For the good sleep you gave us last night, thank you. With good health for waking us up, thank you. This morning, Father, for leading us victoriously for thy grace, thank you. Father, everyone who is hearing this voice today, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bless and pray for them. Father, bless their way of living. Bless their children. Father, the way of their living, Father, be it work, be it business, be it farming, whatever it is, let it be blessed. Let them be filled with blessing in their hands. Let there be godly prosperity to give to many. Father, for strengthening their hands, thank you. That they are blessed by the Lord. Those who see them would proclaim it. Those who see them would know the glory of God. Father, thank you for filling them with thy grace. Like how Abraham was blessed. Like how Isaac was blessed. Your children who are hearing this voice today, let them be blessed. Father, in Christ Jesus. The blessing of Abraham, Father, for being manifested in the life, thank you. Let the sick be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every power of sickness this morning, leave. I command in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who have got a pain in the stomach, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is the reason for it, right now you who have the authority over heaven and earth, in the name of Jesus Christ, lift the body. Those who have swelling in the body, right now be healed. Let the health be restored back. Godly miracle be declared upon their body. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. For those who don't have job, Father, thank you for giving job for them. Those who are going through financial difficulty for delivering them, thank you. Father, all over in the world, those who are working for thy kingdom, men and women, Father, bless them, bless their families. Those who are going through difficult times, Father, tough times, Father, everyone, deliver them, we pray unto thee. For especially at this beautiful time together, we give our meeting in the evening into thy hands. Let it be greatly glorious and blessed to see thy mighty works. Help us, O oh Father. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we make this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Let the peace, the joy, and the happiness of the Lord increase and overflow in your life in abundance. I pray that you would be the golden vessels that the Lord would cherish for his kingdom. Today further, we are going to meditate from the book of Hebrews chapter 3, verse number 2. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 2, a verse we are all familiar with. As Moses also was faithful in all his house, Jesus was faithful to him who appointed him. Moses was faithful unto all that he was given responsibility for. He did his ministry, he did his responsibility with fullness of faithfulness. In that same manner, Jesus was faithful to him who appointed him. For what purpose Jesus came into this world to fulfill that he did it faithfully in this world? 
who sent him and to what responsibility he was given that complete faithfulness he did it and completed it the holy spirit is also reminding us today we also what god has ordained us to do so we should be faithful in it the holy spirit is reminding us one of the quality of our lord jesus christ is faithfulness one of the quality of our heavenly father is faithfulness In the book of Hebrews itself, it says, Hebrews 11, 11, By faith Sarah also, hallelujah, received strength to conceive seed, because she judged him faithful who had promised. So what happened over there? Who, who gave her the promise? She concerned, she believed him and she was faithful. to give what he had promised so our lord is faithful so we also in everything should be faithful in everything god has kept us to be be it in your family be it at your work be it in your ministry be it in your education into whatever manner god has placed you in that we should be faithful the holy spirit is reminding us this morning you might be faithful in the church but at your workplace you might not be faithful god has placed us not only to be faithful in the church but also to be faithful in the society at our workplace we should be faithful in our ministry probably there are many who are doing a full time ministry they should do it faithfully if you're doing part time ministry do it faithful in your family be faithful some of them are faithful in some area and not faithful in the other we should not be like that we should not be children who are unfaithful in luke 16 10 says he who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much and he who is unjust in what is least is unjust also in much be it small thing also do it faithfully in that organization you might be having a small job if you do that faithfully you would be able to bear much fruit and he is faithful to give you more over there also in luke 19 17 says and he said to him well done good servant because you are faithful in a very little have authority over 10 cities so where we are faithful over there again god will give us more responsibility many times what happen we are not ready for it we are unfaithful we should not be like that today in this generation <clears throat> god gives responsibilities to those who are faithful give souls to those who are faithful give finance to those who are faithful gives authority to those who are faithful and those who do that faithfully are given more So the Holy Spirit of God is reminding us today into what we are we should be faithful and when we do in that manner our Lord will give us more and more things added to us so this morning take a responsibility take a decision lord if i if i was unfaithful in anywhere please forgive me please forgive the unfaithfulness inside of me but completely to be faithful everywhere in everything wherever lord you have placed me to be faithful help me father thank you daddy for hearing your prayer we give you all the glory in jesus name we pray amen 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 dear children of god what good quality which should be inside of us is faithful so be faithful in every area and let the lord bless you in the name of jesus christ our children shall prophesy our young men shall see visions and the old men shall dream dreams we are blessed we are really blessed we are permanently blessed and highly favored god bless you god bless you god bless you today hallelujah